Welcome to the Art of Extraordinary Confidence, the show for men who want to 10x their confidence in any area of their life. Business, sales, speaking, dating and relationships, just your general social life, this is the show for you. I'm your host, Dr. Aziz, and today we're going to be diving into business confidence. Specifically, we're going to be touching on something that I see business owners and people who are in companies being held up by all the time. So this is going to help you massively increase your productivity because we're going to learn how to eliminate delay tactics. Eliminate delay tactics. These are incredibly common. When I work with people, I see them. And one of the biggest ones that I see is a sense of confusion, hesitation, self-doubt, and some version of, I don't quite know enough yet, I'm not quite sure. Have you ever been in that place? I'm sure you know it. It's this, it's this really uncomfortable place to be in. You can feel this kind of discomfort in your body, this agitated feeling in your body. And then your mind can be really active. Like, is it this or that? I don't know. Should I do this or should I do that? And you can just go back and forth and nothing quite feels right. And you're hesitant and you're worried. Well, let's learn how to blast right through that. First things first, we got to realize, you know what it is? It's not about the thing. It's not about the decision out there. It's about an internal state of confidence is what it is. In fact, it's how you approach decisions in the first place. Here's how most people approach decisions, especially in business, but this could be any area of your life. It's, oh, should I pick A or B? I mean, which one is going to be the best? And by best, I mean the one that has all pleasure points and no pain points. You know what I'm talking about? That's what we're trying to decide. Is it going to be in pleasure in business could be uh, better sales, growth in some form or another, more customers, more clients, right? And pain would be loss of money, loss of time, loss of an employee, loss of some sort. So we're like, what's going to be all pleasure and no pain? And that's how we're trying to analyze it with our brains. And you know what? Our brain doesn't know. It's like, well, maybe it's A and you get a little closer to A and you're like, oh yeah, A has this, this, and this. But there could be this, this, and this. Oh, geez. <laughs> Let's put A aside. Let's look at B. Yeah, B is probably the way to go. You get closer to B and you're like, wow, B has this, this, and this. Oh, my God, but there's some potential pain with B too. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to A. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I've, I've been there too, right? We can just balance back and forth. But we have to realize is that whole approach, that whole paradigm for a decision doesn't work. Because check this out. There are no mistakes. Each decision you make, you're going to learn something incredibly valuable from. So the most important thing you can do is to make a decision and then implement it as rapidly as possible. If you want to 10x your confidence and you want to double or even triple your own business or the company that you're working for and the sales in your department, implementation of your decision is going to be much more valuable than making the right decision. You know what I'm talking about? Have you seen this in your own life? For example, if you're like, well, should should we go with this approach or that approach, this marketing thing or that marketing thing? Should I talk to those people and say this or those other group of people? Ah, Well, just pick one and do it and do it as soon as possible. ASAP. Just do it. If you can do it tomorrow, that's even better. Because check this out. Or I have a a colleague of mine who's working on his business and he's like, I'm not exactly sure which niche to go into and which market to expand into. And he's been in that place for at least six months. And maybe you know someone like this, maybe you're in that position. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the key, the way to break out is to pick something. Go with your gut. Just pick one and then stick to it for, go go do it. I I, I frequently tell him, the way you'll learn is you, 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 it's it's a successive approximation. You do something, is it quite what I want? No, let me slide over this way. Okay, is that was how did that work? Is that what we want? Okay, let's slide over this way. So you're kind of constantly moving and course correcting rather than waiting for the ultimate decision. Because you know what waiting for the exact right thing is? That's just a, an excuse, a delay tactic to avoid what we're scared of. Maybe we're scared of the sales conversation. Maybe we're afraid of putting up the marketing or doing, you know, doing sales in the first place. Maybe we're afraid of how people are going to judge us. Maybe we're afraid of failing, right? Whatever it is. That's what we're hanging out in the delay tactics for us because we're scared. So you got to jump in, dive in, just do it, see what happens. If that doesn't work and, you know, sometimes this gets me into trouble. You might be wondering that, like, wait a minute. What if you're impulsive and you do something? What ends up happening is the biggest cost I've found is a little lost time, 
right? So you, you start embarking on a thing and then you're like, eh, no, I need to do something else. And, you're, and you could say, oh my God, all that time was just wasted. But no, because if you implement it really fast, you're getting there so much quicker. Does that make sense? So uh, leave a comment below. I'm really curious how this shows up in your work life, in your business. Are there other delay tactics that you notice? How do you break through in that moment of just, just powering through? How do you make that decision? How do you help yourself make decisions? Uh, share with everyone, it'll be really helpful. I love the discussion. So uh, share your comments below. And if you want to watch more episodes of this show, simply click to the left. There should be a few that are popping up right now with fancy technology. So go ahead and click one of those. Keep watching, keep learning. And until we speak again, may you have the courage to be who you are and to know that you're awesome. I'll talk to you soon.